this video, we're going to show you how to renew the controller certificates. Let's go to the configuration certificates and click on the controllers tab. Then we can see that the expiration date of each of the components of the controllers, when it's going to be expired. In this video, uh, we show you uh, the expiration date of the controllers. Certificates are uh, December 8, 2021. Right, and suppose that these controllers are about to expire, then we need to renew it. Uh, first thing is we need to go to admin settings and we choose the controller certificate authorizations, which is Cisco. So this is recommended by Cisco. Uh, we have a certificate CA PKI on the cloud. So we can use the Cisco plug and play connect portal to sign the certificate automatically. And the certificate retrieval interval is one minute as set in this video. You can modify it, but uh, I just want to keep it one minute so that we can get the certificate right away after we uh, request the certificates. And the second thing that you need to make sure is you need to have a valid smart account credentials. In this example, I use my own account, which is S-A-D-I-R-E-K and put the password in and save. The third thing is you need to have uh, controllers accessible through the internet. You need to go and allow the firewall is to have uh, on-premise controllers and make sure that you have the DNS access as well. Uh, the vManage will talk to the uh, PNP portal using the 443 connections. So let's try to renew it now. Go to the controller certificates. And first we go to the vManage and generate the CSR. Uh, before we doing that, we just go and connect to the one of the client at the branch site and try to ping across the WAN just to make sure that uh, it has connectivity. So this is the client. And uh, now I ping to 10.10.10.100, which is on the other side of the WAN. I just start pinging it, it is successful. So I will leave this ping open so you can see that uh, how interruption is going to happen if we recertificate of the controllers. Then we go back to generate CSR. It is being generated. Going to the cloud and talk to the PNP portal. And then it is generated and sent to the Cisco for signing. This one is uh, we managed. So then we go to the software central and go to plug and play connect. And uh, I just want to refresh this page a little bit. You can see that just now, uh, 38 minutes, right? Then uh, I just do uh, enrollment request. So it, it is completed already. And we expect that this status will be changed to the uh, installed once the certificate is signed from the portal and download back to the controllers we manage. All right, now it is already installed and looking at the date is, looking at the time, it changed the time to 3.38 p.m. That is new. Then let's go and uh, recertificate of the reborn. And by the way, the ping is still running. I don't see any drops on the packet. Now VBond is being 
sent to the cloud. Let's check the cloud again. On the certificate tab, we see the reborn has been requested and is being signed by the Cisco PKI. It takes a few minutes to sign and download back to the vManage, then to the reborn. So let's wait. All right, now it is already installed and it updates the expiration date. Now it is 3.40 p.m. Looking at whether we lost the ping or not, it seems like we do not lost the ping. Then let's go to the vSmart and generate the CSRs. We managed to talk to the vSmart using the API and using the API also to push the CSR to the portal. Again, we go back to the portal and check on the certificate tabs under the plug and play connect. We see that we smart is there, enrollment request, and it is being signed by the Cisco PKI. Let's wait until Vsmart is finished install the certificates. All right, now Vsmart has been updated with the new certificate. As you can see here, the date and time is changed. Now it is 2, 3, 42 p.m., which is the current time. All right, let's check Everything is up. Yep, the Vsmart is up, Vbon is up, but notice something that the controller, the control plane from the edges goes down. Because yes, the Vsmart, when it renew the certificates, then uh, the control plane will be interrupted so that uh, we should have at least two vSmarts at the same time running. We should not do the recertificates on the vSmart for both of them at the same time. It is not ex it is not the best practice. Then we see that the ping over here, I think it might have some loss here, but it does it does not. So the con the it seems like control plane it get interrupted but the data plane doesn't get interrupted so uh, i think we are good now here uh controller has been researched and the data plane not get interrupted uh, however uh as i want to recommend uh maybe if you can schedule the downtime or maintenance windows when doing the renew of the certificates on the controllers, that should be the best option. All right, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.